Tuxedo cats, also called tuxies, are known for their distinctive black and white coat pattern that resembles a classic tuxedo outfit. However, their unique bi-colored coats are just one of many interesting features of these cats. In this video, we will talk about 15 interesting facts about these charming cats. Tuxedo cats are not a single breed. Tuxedo cats are not a particular breed. Instead, they get their name from the distinctive bi-colored markings on their coats. Any domestic cat that is primarily black with white markings can be considered a tuxedo cat. The majority of tuxies are domestic shorthair cats, but the coat variation is also seen in Persians, Maine Coons, British Shorthairs, and the Devon Rex. So, a tuxedo cat can have short hair, long hair, or curly hair. A tuxedo cat's belly and paws are usually white, though the placement of the white heavily varies from cat to cat. Some tuxedo cats have markings on their face as well. Many tuxedos also have a mustache marking. Others will be mitted, which means they're entirely black except for their paws. Tuxedo cats are just as likely to be female. Unlike orange tabbies, who are usually male, or calico or tortoiseshell cats, who are almost always female, tuxies can easily be either sex. This means there are an equal number of male and female tuxedo cats out there. A tuxedo cat was once the richest cat in the world. A tuxedo cat named Sparky was owned by an incredibly wealthy owner. When the owner passed away in 1998, he passed all his money down to Sparky. Sparky's inheritance was around $6.3 million. This inheritance was the largest for a cat until 2011, when an older woman left her cat $11 million. Leaving money to a pet is quite common, with one German Shepherd in control of $373 million. Tuxedo cats are popular fixtures of pop culture. Tuxedo cats have been part of popular culture for longer than you might expect. Felix the Cat debuted in 1919 during the silent movie era. Sylvester the Cat first appeared in 1939, and Dr. Seuss's Cat in the Hat first appeared in 1957. All three cats are still showing their tuxitude in movies, television, books, and other media. Tuxedo cats aren't limited to just black and white. While you might expect tuxedo cats to sport coats just in the traditional black and white of the men's formal attire they're named after, you might also spot tuxies in gray, orange, and silver. Their coat pattern is random. Tuxedo cats get their coat patterns during development when they are in the womb, but it's not about genetics. A tuxedo cat can be born even if neither parent is tuxedo. They just need to inherit black and white genes. In the past, scientists believed that tuxedo cats were produced as a result of slow-moving or sluggish pigment cells. It was believed that the black pigment cells would not reach every part of the cat's body before the cat was born. In other words, the parts that the pigment cells did reach would be black, and the parts where it did not reach would be white. However, more recent studies suggest that the tuxedo markings are the result of a faulty KIT gene that is unable to multiply at a normal rate. In either case, the result is a random pattern, so no two tuxedo cats will have the exact same pattern. A tuxedo cat almost became the mayor of Halifax. Not many cats have run for political office, and there aren't a lot of political parties started by cat breeds or types. But in the 2012 municipal elections, a black and white cat named Tuxedo Stan ran for mayor in Halifax, Canada. Yes, seriously. He even created his own political party, the Tuxedo Party of Canada. Although this spirited tuxie didn't win, he quickly gained international attention and brought awareness to the plight of homeless cats across platforms. He also inspired the Halifax City Council to give a hefty grant to the area to open a new vet clinic that will spay and neuter feral cats. Tuxies are popular with famous people. It should come as no surprise that the fancy tuxedo cat has had some fancy companions over the years. Plenty of famous and influential people have owned tuxedos. Among the most well-documented are William Shakespeare, Beethoven, Sir Isaac Newton, and even President Bill Clinton. That's right, tuxies have also made it into the White House. Sox Clinton was the pet cat of the Clinton family. It was given the official title of first cat of the United States. So while the world's most famous poems, songs, plays, and scientific texts were being written, a tuxedo cat was right there. They are among the least adopted cats. 
Tuxies are undeniably adorable and can come from purebred kitties as well as from mixed-bred feral cats. However, that doesn't mean everyone wants to run out and adopt one. Tuxedo cats are among the least adopted cats in shelters. According to a Priceonomic study, they have an unusually low adoption rate at just below 70%. It might be because tuxies are mostly black and studies show that black cats are less likely to be adopted than cats of other colors. Anecdotal reports indicate various possible reasons for prejudice against black cats, including superstitions and negative associations of black cats with witchcraft or evil. Their whisker colors match their muzzle color. A cat's whisker color will match its hair color. This means that if you have a pure black cat, it will have black whiskers. Most tuxedo cats have a bright white muzzle, which means their whiskers are white. Even cats with a gray muzzle area will have gray whiskers. No two tuxedo cats are the same. Similar to how no two fingerprints are the same, no two tuxedo coat patterns are identical either. This means that your tuxedo cat's coat is unique. As discussed, this is because cat's pigment cells distribute with a random pattern. The configuration itself does not follow any genetic blueprint. They are found all over the world. Since tuxedo cats are not a particular breed but rather a coat pattern, they are not limited by geographical area. This means that unlike other cats which are more common in certain countries or regions, tuxedos can be found all over the world. Tuxedos are high achievers. Some tuxedo cats have gone on to do things one could have never imagined a cat could do. For example, only one cat has ever made it to the top of Mount Everest, and he was a tuxedo cat. His human carried him, of course, but it's still pretty impressive. Another tuxedo cat named Simon went to war during World War II and ended up receiving a medal for his services. How did he help the Allies? By protecting British food supplies from pests and mice. There are lots of tuxedo myths. With such a charming and fancy-looking cat, it's no surprise that there are plenty of myths and rumors surrounding the tuxedos. Some myths suggest that tuxedos have magical properties, or that they have a certain personality, size, weight, or lifespan. All cats ultimately are individuals. Your cat will be who she is, based on her particular combination of genes, her upbringing, and personal history, and whatever magic makes all of us who we are. Another myth about the tuxedo is that they were worshipped by the ancient Egyptians. However, there is no evidence to prove that this is true. While ancient Egyptians are known to have been very fond of cats, it's unknown whether or not tuxedo cats were among them. It's more likely that African wild cats and jungle cats were the most common in ancient Egyptian society. Another humorous myth is the rumor that tuxies are the only pets permitted to attend the Metropolitan Opera in New York because they meet the dress code. The truth is the opera doesn't even have a dress code, and they sadly don't allow cats. They are photogenic. A tuxedo cat's sharp black and white lines make them extremely photogenic, and they stand out nicely from the background. Even with improper lighting and poor photography skills, it's nearly impossible to get a bad picture. Now that you know more about tuxedo cats, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you have a tuxedo cat in your life? Has one ever left a special little paw print on your heart? Share your own experience and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos.